We have our reporters stationed at different locations around the country as we cover the Mozambican elections. We have SABC News uh, international editor Sophie Mokwena in Pretoria, Kaya Lichle Kumalo in Johannesburg, and Katlejo Nyoni in Guyani, and Nixon Katembo is in Maputo. We'll be crossing to each one of those. Let's start here. Mozambicans, as we know, going to the polls to elect a successor to the president, Filipe Nyusi, whose 10-year term has come to an end now. The ruling Frelimo party candidate is Daniel Chapo, and the opposition Renamo party's candidate is Asofo Momade. For more on this, SABC News international editor Sophie McQuenna, who's at the Mozambican embassy in Pretoria following these elections. Sophie, let's hand it... Uh, Okay, all right, doesn't look like Sophie is ready for us now. We will get to her, as I said. She's uh, at the embassy in Pretoria. We'll get uh, uh, footage from her shortly and talk to her. But Kaya Lichle Komalo is at the Mozambique Consul General, and that's in Johannesburg. Kaya Lichle, talk to us about what's happening there. And uh, we know the polling stations are open, so we can now officially say elections are underway in Mozambique. Well, absolutely, and it's such a very watershed moment uh, for the Mozambicans uh, outside of the country having the opportunity to really vote uh, today in what is built to be very historic elections. So Mozambique, one of the very few countries in Africa really to have uh, such uh, a right uh, where people can vote outside of the country. So where we are positioned, really, there is a great deal of interest. As you know, that is one of the biggest polling stations uh, outside of the country. As you know, that's so there is a significant number of the Mozambican nationals who are based in Johannesburg. So uh, there is a great deal of enthusiasm. A lot of them, they say, they won't be foregoing the opportunity. They are willing to really vote uh, so that they see uh, difference in their country. But let's hear from one of uh, the voters who's really waiting keenly. So let, let's talk about today, the, the importance of today, uh, as we wait for uh, this particular time. Tell us why you're here today, the importance for you. Why do you want to vote? Um, I am here to vote because it's a, it's a law to vote. We have to vote so that we may, we may change the situation in our country. We may get the, uh, good things. We may no longer come to South Africa. As like we are coming, we will reduce the number of people that are coming here in South Africa if the things are changing in our country. That is why um, we are here to vote, because it is very important for us to vote. Yeah. And obviously, uh, four candidates, uh, there's quite a lot at stake. For Lima wants to extend their stay in power. I mean, as a Mozambican, how has it been in terms of life in Mozambique? Um, I, 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 what I want is to see the, 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 the change in my country. I don't want to know who's going to be in the front, but what I want to know, I want to see is a change in my country. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what would you say to other Mozambicans who are here who are eligible to vote? Would you say it's a wise thing to do to come and vote? Yeah, I can say to other, uh, they might come, they may come here to vote. Those who are here in South Africa, they, might, they may come to vote with us here. So that they change the, the, the things they may change. All right. All right. So thank you so much indeed for your time. So that, that's one of the voters, uh, Leanne. So absolutely keen to vote. I'm going to see if I can grab someone else. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a bit of a hustle and bustle here where we're positioned. Uh, it sees a meeting point as uh, other officials uh, from the electoral body. In fact, uh, the embassy staff, uh, they are taking the, the material to other voting stations. As you know, that Johannesburg is one of them, but also Pretoria. But uh, I, I do understand stand as well. There are many other voting stations uh, that are here. So I'm going to try and see if I can speak to you, say, come and talk to me. Uh, I just want to hear uh, how you're feeling about uh, today. So let's hear. Let's get a woman. How are you, ma'am? Are you going to vote today? Mm, no, I'm a MMB. Okay, like so you're an official. Yes. Okay, what about you, ma'am? You're voting today? Can I? Oh, okay, great. So, so some of the officials are right here. But let's hear, as a Mozambican, it's a big day for the country. Yes, yes, it's a big day. Yeah, I'm a Mozambican, and uh, yeah, it's a big day for mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what do you say to people? Uh, I would imagine that you encourage them to come in numbers and vote. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, it's great. A big day, you can come. Everyone, it's a, our day today. 
to vote and then uh, we like for election uh we, we, any president so ish. Okay. Okay. Great. So, Leanne, uh, those are just some of the sentiments here. So, we'll continue to be positioned here to make sure that you get all uh, the comprehensive details. Uh, so, with that, uh, back to you in studio. All right, Kailisha. Thank you very, very much. We can see that uh, obviously language barriers and uh, those on their way to go and either set up or uh, to go and vote, and uh, that's where Mozambican elections are underway. Well, uh, these general elections are to elect a new president, parliament, and. And, uh, of course, um, regional governments today, close to 17 million people in Mozambique are registered to vote for the next president, along with 250 members of parliament and provincial assemblies.